Good morning, my Torians. Happy bonus read day, everybody. I hope you're having a great, great weekend. It is rainy here in northern Indiana, but you know what? I love it. I love the rain, actually. Okay, I have Tarot the Mystical Moments for the main deck. I have, today I have um, Black and Gold Tarot for the clarifying deck. I know it's not the best deck uh, for for recording, but I just felt the need to use it today. You know what? You, I, I'd rather follow the energy that, rather than you know, anything else. I mean, that should really come above all else anyway. So we have a two of wands and a chariot reverse at the bottom of the deck. And it feels like the bottom of the deck is the energy coming your way. Some of you could be in this now, but I, I feel like you have a choice. That's what it feels like to end something, the chariot reverse, something that's not really working for you, something that, I mean, the chariot, the chariot is cancer and cancer is the queen of cups. So if the queen of cups is reverse, it's, it's not really fulfilling for you either, if you're honest with yourself. So I feel like you have a choice coming in. <clears throat> Look at that, 10 of pentacles. But that's, it's funny because two cards are sticking together. What is it? Or actually, is it three? No, it's, is it three? It's two. Five of swords reverse. Five of swords reverse. I, you know what I feel? The answer to your prayers. The five of swords, when it's reverse, it's finding a solution. But I got the answer to your prayers. I don't know what that means for any of you. Um, and I feel like when something this comes in, this offer, this opportunity, I feel like this is, you, you're making the choice with the two of wands, but she is holding the world upright. King of swords is knowing what you want, uh, clarity. But if you notice all the stars around it, all the stars on her, it's, I feel like it's an opportunity almost of a lifetime for some of you, you know, cause tarot is a spectrum. Some of you, it, it may very well be an opportunity of a lifetime, or it's an opportunity to put you on the path to where you really want to be because we have a hangman reverse and that's moving forward. All right, Taurus, let's see what's going on. So I feel like you have a choice coming in. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Taurus. If you are a Taurus, know a Taurus. Feel like being a Taurus. Taurians, I'm glad you're here. You can be a Taurus and this resonates. You can be dealing with a Taurus. It could resonate as the main story and Taurus can be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Taurus or for a Taurus. Take it as it resonates. Like the messages for the Taurians. What is the general energy? What is the story today? Thank you very much. Look at that, King of Cups reversed and the Three of Pentacles. Two of, again, see twos and tarot talk about making a decision. I Two of Swords reverse, it feels like you, your mind's made up. King of Cups reverse over here in, the, in an old situation, Three of Pentacles in a new. What's influencing the Two of Swords reverse? What's influencing the Two of Swords reverse? Libra and energy. What's influencing the Two of Swords reverse? Oh, you got, oh, 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 you got the, remember um, at the bottom of the deck was the female King of Swords? Look who showed up, the male King of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. I feel, honestly, I feel like somebody wants you to say, stay. I feel like your mind's made up on most days. I want to say on most days. Emperor, Nine of Wands. I feel, honestly, I just feel like somebody's holding on to your energy or physically holding on to you guys. I mean, okay, not physically, but you know what I mean? You know who this is. It could be a, a boss, it could be a family member, it could be a spouse, but somebody doesn't want you to go. But what's the reason? Okay, thank you very much. Temperance reverse, reason for the reading. Just can't do it anymore. And I feel like it's reversed because it's giving too much to this King of Swords character and not enough to you. And a four of pentacles is mine. That's what I get. I get mine. I also get a plateau here. I feel like things with this, it's about them, not much about you. What's in the past? What's in the past for the Torians? What's in the past for the Torians? What's in the past for the Torians? The seven of swords reverse. Aquarius again. Whoever the, I feel like this is who you're trying to leave. The king is upright. I just feel like the king is very unemotional. Whoever, it could be a female you're dealing with. It's, it's the energies and it's the masculine. Then I feel like this person operates out of a very masculine energy. It's about what's best. Like if it's best for this person, it's also best for you. 
but they don't care about the emotional side of it. They don't care if your needs are met. It's what's best for you, best for, for them. Therefore, it's best for you. And the Seven of Swords reverses, I feel like when they know you're right out the door, here comes the apology. So this kind of feels like this has been a cycle. What is on your mind? What is on Torian's mind? It just feels so totalitarian, you know? What is on Taurus's mind? What is on the Taurus's mind? Cancer again. Cancer's uh, major arcana, one of them, because we have two now, the high priestess reverse. I feel like this is an energy that makes you feel unable to speak up for yourself properly. Think of it as like a strict father. It's, it's, it's a strict energy. I feel like they're hard on themselves. Therefore, they're hard on the people around them because it's, it's what's best for you. And the high priestess reverse is I feel like walking on eggshells around this energy, but I feel like you don't want to hold, you don't want to hold it back anymore. All right. What's in the near future? What's in the near future for Taurus? What's in the near future for the Taurians? What's in the near future? Let me try moving these guys. I see I messed with the camera angle thinking it would be better and it's still cut off. I swear. But these camera angles, I'm so I'm so tired of it. People you have people don't know how hard it is with these angles. It is. Okay, what is the near future for Doris? It's like I feel like I'm broadcasting from space here with this. I'm trying to so you guys can see all of it instead of just the side of the table. What is the near future for Taurus? What is the near future for the Taurians? I love it. Remember the 201s at the very beginning? Somebody making a decision, but she is holding the world. You have, you're moving on. This person can't apologize their way to keep you there anymore. Chariot reverse, King of Pentacles reverse. I don't think you can be bought off. I don't think you can be, um, I just, that's what it feels like. I feel like they might buy you things, apologize, love bomb you for about a day or two. And then we know, we know what we must do. Ace of Wands, how you see yourself moving on. In my head, I asked a question. There it is. Ace of Wands, you're moving on. I honestly feel what is not being said here is the offer. I think, I think there's people watching this and they absolutely know who I'm talking about. It's this, it could be a new relationship. It could be a new job. It's, it's you, it's tangible. You're aware of it. You know of it. If you don't, and this is the beauty of these kind of spreads. This is a very traditional old spread. So the beauty of these spreads is if you resonate back here, then this is bound. No, I shouldn't say bound, but it's very likely to happen then you're going to have some type of offer and you will have a decision. And I think, honestly, I feel like you have to stand up for yourself with this King of Swords type of character. What is the energy coming in, Torians don't see coming? What is the energy coming in the Torian? Okay, justice reverse. You're ending it. A divorce. And it feels like you've been at it for a long time. Judgment and the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom and the King of Pentacles reverse. There you are. And judgment is an awakening of sorts. It's a rebirth of yourself. It's a renewal of your spirit. And Seven of Pentacles is, you know, it's, it's the should I stay or should I go card. I put a lot of time and effort into this. Do I just let it go for something new? What if that new doesn't work out? See, there's a lot of reflection. But at the end of the day, it's a King of Pentacles reverse. It's somebody who's not happy. And if you're not happy, are you really cultivating the best life you can have? Is, or, or do you have money issues? Is, is, is the love out of your marriage, like the, the, the love or the, the happiness, is it, is it at peak level like 10 years ago? Is there a job that's not, you're not excited about and you're not even getting paid your worth anymore? Whatever it is, I feel like when this offer comes in, it isn't, it's gonna be weighed more to the favor of the new and that's also a justice reverse there's an imbalance we have two imbalances but i actually am getting directly i'm feeling a scale see how she's holding the scale and i feel when this 
new new uh, offer comes in, it's it's an ace of swords reverse. It's a it's cutting free from something because you really want something else more, and you know it's time. It's time. Okay, what is what are in your emotions? I almost get it might be fear, excitement, scared, and then freedom. That's what it feels like when you once you make this decision. What is, what are in Taurus's emotions? What are in the Taurian's emotions? What are in the Taurian's emotions, please? Can I have a card? What are in the Taurian's emotions? Judgment reverse, it's fear. I felt the need, but lovers and six of pentacles reverse and then nine of wands. Look at these two. Oh my gosh. Look at what are you holding on to? That is pain. There's your ace of pentacles. And I feel like this person sees your ace of pentacles, page of pentacles, whatever this flower is to you. But, but there in between it is, is a decision to be made. Six of pentacles reverse is, I feel like you've been trying not to have to get, to get to this point. I feel like you've been trying to maybe feed both situations, but I feel like a decision is it's time to make the decision. And then you had a devil devil's reverse. It's it, interesting because the 10 of swords reverse is really playing something over and over in your head. But in the devil reverse, I just feel like honestly, somebody's leaving a long-term commitment. What is in the outcome of Taurus? For Taurus, thank you. Page of cups reverse fell out. Or is it a page of cups upright? Is it saying goodbye and hello? All right. What is the outcome for Taurus? Double reverse. There it is again. Interesting enough, this is Capricorn, four pentacles. Devil is Capricorn. Um, it almost feels like saying goodbye. It's saying goodbye. In your and the outcome and your emotions are two different time frames. Outcome is near future, near future, and near future. I think as, as afraid as you are, you're gonna make a decision that's right for you. That's what it feels like. All right, let's see what's going on here. Why the two of, two of swords reverse? Libra and energy. Making up your mind. Is your mind made up? Overthinking. What, what's the Two of Swords reverse? Caught between two. What's the Two of Swords reverse here? And there she is, Queen of Cups. And guess what? She's up right now. I'm telling you, the moment you, you make a decision and get off that fence, it's going to bring, it's, it feels like, it's like a, um, oh, what are those called? I always think of game shows. It's like, it's like something's going to start to fill up, you know? It's like you've been running on empty and it's going to start to immediately lift. I The energy is going to lift. Um, yeah, that's what it feels like. Queen of Cups, Cancer. Why the Four Pentacles and King of Swords? And this is love. Queen of Cups cherishes love, values love in their emotions. I honestly feel what you are want to go towards is love. You feel excited about it. You have an Ace of Wands, how you see yourself opening to this new idea. But the Ace of Wands, by the way, is in a book, not in the ground. So I don't feel like you, you're you there planting it quite yet. I feel like you're still, you know, in the thinking stages of this. And so the Queen of Cups is just, but when you think about this, it just makes you very happy. You can see yourself there. You can see a future there. And that should tell you a lot. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles and the King of Swords influencing energy. But they want it their way. They're Burger King over here. They want it their way. What's the Four of Pentacles and the King of Swords? Two of Cups reverse. Twos. Now we have three twos. Two of Wands reverse. No, it was a Two of Wands upright. Two of Swords reverse and a Two of Cups reverse. I feel like this is your Page of Cups reverse right here. The, I've, uh, it's just an ending of a long cycle to me. Four of Pentacles. Why the Four of Pentacles? I feel like somebody wants to lock you up with that Four of Pentacles, like keep you. Hermit reverse, page. There. Oh my gosh. I couldn't see the Page of Pentacles reverse. It was stuck. 
to the hermit reverse hermit reverse virgo energy is i know what i need to do and it's it's strangely enough a hermit reverse is a lot like a judgment upright so you know what you need to do you just now have to do it right and page of pentacles i feel like this was literally hiding behind the hermit i feel like an offer you've been hiding from this person and honestly a king of swords is a seeker they know i feel like this person knows there's something up with you i feel like some of you this person's looking for it literally looking maybe when you're not around through your computer trying to understand you've changed there's something going on what's the temperance reverse reason for the reading what's the temperance reverse reason for the reading here hangman reverse which is judgment upright hermit reverse I was gonna say that and I wish I did. You would have been very impressed, Doris. Hangman reverse is you don't wanna be tied to this anymore. The more you're tied to it, you're you're just, you know what song popped in my head is Helium by Sia. It's when you think of this, it, it, it you float up. But when you think of this, it's like a helium balloon that just kind of falls back down to the ground. You know, it's like even the energy falls down. So antenna wands, ace of wands which interesting that these two cards came out like this is after a 10 is the ace and it, it i feel like you know you're 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 teetering there of saying you know what it, i don't want to i don't want life to be this hard i mean life's going to be hard in so many areas but it shouldn't have to be in your house i mean you know what i mean it shouldn't have to be in your bedroom it shouldn't have to be in your heart and th those are the things you can't control and i feel like you're taking your control back from somebody who loved to have the control that's what it feels like here and look at this this is what fell out three of cups knight of pentacles the lovers and the star this is what you're going to three of cups is celebration it's happiness you're this i feel like somebody's filling your cup up knight of pentacles is is something worth building on knight of pentacles is patient it's it's constant attention but you know you're working towards a 10 right in the good way the ten of pentacles you got the lovers and you got the star so if this is confirmation for anyone and i feel like i need to put this over here for some reason by the emotions if you need confirmation that you're making the right decision the tarot lady here is saying you know what you can't build your life around somebody else's sadness and loss because by you staying you're the one in the five of cups I don't think you want to miss out on this. Okay, what is the Seven of Swords reverse in the past for Taurus? Seven of Swords reverse Aquarius in the past. And the High Priestess upright. This, oh my gosh, this, I love when readings are like this because there's no room for deviation. It is one storyline where it's, it's one storyline. I love it. High Priestess silence. I said that. On your mind is saying, I don't want to be silent anymore. I don't want to hide my feelings. I don't want to hide this opportunity. I don't want to sneak away in, in a corner of my house at, at three in the morning and I want to live my life out loud and I deserve to. And why does this person keep me here? And truth, you're keeping you here. Oh, don't kill the messenger. But you have to take your power back from this person. You're giving it way too much power. What's the high priestess reverse? Cancer on your mind. High Priestess Reverse and the Queen of Wands Reverse. Yep. It's fear. But I feel like somebody likes you small. They want you afraid of them. They want you to think they're the big bad wolf. Turn on the light, Taurus, and look at them. It's just a mouse. They, But they want you to fear them. They want you to... Th this person... This person... I, it's funny. Before I did your reading, I was reading this. The Tao, Tao Te Ching. And specifically, I'm sorry, I've, I've, I don't think I've ever done this in a reading. I think it was number two because you had a two of wands and something told me to go look at the two. Opposites. There was a few I read. It's, is it two? I've never done this, I apologize. But I need to find this. I was on two, nine, and 12 in the Tao Te Ching. Is it nine? Sorry, Taurus, I apologize. I don't know why I feel nine. I don't know, look at this. 
nine, some of you, this is a marriage. And so you can take a screenshot of nine in this. And it says, if you continue filling a pail after it's full, the water will be wasted. If you continue grinding an ax after it is sharp, the edge will wear away. Who can protect a house full of gold and jewels? Excessive fortune brings about its own misfortune. To win true merit, to earn a good reputation, you must be prudent. This is the way of the Tao. And there's something in here. Gosh, see, I should have just stuck to one. I feel like this person, you, you're dealing with somebody that likes fear. It's to be a good leader. You don't want to do fear, right? You want, you want people to be inspired. You don't want to rule by fear. You don't want people insecure. Queen of Wands reverses a very insecure energy, but they have nothing to be insecure about. You know, who's really insecure is this King of Swords, even though he's upright. Cause I feel like publicly people love this person. This, this is the CPA, the tarot deck right here. People love a King of Swords publicly, but what are, what is this person doing? I don't want to say for you, but what, how do I phrase this? What do you possess that this person's afraid of? You know what I feel? It's a good personality. It's a good heart. You're good at something and they're afraid if other people see it, then you're going to start to see it Taurus. And if you start to see it, you're going to leave them behind. I think I, I think I solved this riddle. That's what's going on here. Two of Pentacles reverse and a King of Wands reverse. It, behind closed doors, this person, I don't even feel for some of you, I, I didn't want to say this because this, I like the, the, the cleanliness of this reading, but if we dig a little deep, it's here. And I, I, there is another layer of, with these cards. We have a seven of swords reverse and remember the hermit reverse and the page of pentacles. I feel like maybe you found out that this person, for some of you, not all of you Torians, if you're resonating, but there is some, you found out that this person wasn't faithful to you, but you remain faithful to them. Now you have an opportunity and this person doesn't want you doing what they're doing. And because you know what, Taurus, they know you deserve better. If this is a job, this is a person who may be always looking at other prospects just in case that could fill your position. But, but they, it's, it, it's a shady ass boss or it's a shady ass connection, whatever this is for you watching this. And this person doesn't want to know how great you really are because you're going to start to see it. And they're going to, you're the, I feel a new opportunity started to shine the light on the darkness of corners in your mind. And now everything's kind of lit up. Remember, we have the Hermit reverse. It's an understanding of thyself. Virgo energy is a very internal card. And with this Hermit reverse, you understand your star, where you need to be. Over here, what's coming is your star. You're more on path where you need to be. And the, the tower that's coming in is brought in by Taurus. These messages are brought by Taurus, paid for by Taurus and created by Taurus. I feel like you really are taking your power back. Okay, the world in the near future. The world in the near future. You're moving on up. Jefferson's world in the near future. And the seven of wands. You are fighting for you. You know, you're realizing you don't deserve to be hidden. You're realizing your voice deserves to be heard. You're realizing your art needs to be seen. You have something to donate to this world, right? And you're damn well going to put it out there and not hide it away. Seven of Wands is getting a lot of attention, but I feel like you're fighting for you. I also feel there's a connection fighting for you too. Ace of Wands, how you see yourself. I feel like you're ready to do this. Ace of Wands, how Taurus sees themselves. Ace of Wands, how Taurus... And it's funny, you have two aces here, which mean hell yes. That's what I think. When you have two aces next to each other, it's not just yes, it's hell yes. Ace of Wands, how Taurus sees themselves. What? Flip, Taurus. You're taking all my cards today. Five of Cups, Justice Reverse. Five of Cups is somebody being like, ooh, I lost it. Justice Reverse, you have it right here. It's, I think you're making a decision, honestly. Page of Cups reverse, Judgment reverse, and two, there's our Ten of Pentacles. Now, interesting enough, this Ten of Pentacles is a Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is a quick energy, quick message in. 
I feel like Taurus is going to be out. I think you're on your way with this Knight of Pentacles. Where did we see the Knight? Where did I see that Knight? Over here. With this Knight of Pentacles, you're on your way to the 10. You're finally building a foundation worth living in, being in, and being proud of, you know? Okay, what's the Justice Reverse energy coming in? I feel like this is you severing this. Justice Reverse, Libra energy. I feel like you're writing a wrong. I feel like the universe is writing a wrong. And you realize without your, your doing, this never could have happened. It's not the lack of an opportunity. It's a lack of willpower. It's a lack of momentum. It's a lack of taking your life back and power back. And that's what you're doing here. Justice reverse energy coming in. You, and the t look at that, the nine of wands reverse. I love this reading. Nine of wands reverse is no longer being afraid of the things that held you back, namely a king of swords, namely being afraid to speak, namely putting yourself out there for the world to see because you're going to have critics. And if people are criticizing you, it's because they want your position in life. Remember that, you know? So the nine of wands reverse most importantly, because I need to say this because there's a small fraction that don't like reversals. And it's because they don't know. I don't think they know reversals. If you knew the reversals, you wouldn't be, it's, it's almost a fear of the unknown. Nine of wands reverse is an eight of wands upright. You want this card in reverse because you are getting out of your own way. Just like the man is blocking his momentum by fear. He's bandaged, he's bruised. He's holding an ace of wands, but yet he's holding his eight of wands back because he's afraid somebody else wouldn't like them. Nope, he's letting them fly. And that is when you, magician right there, that is when you're taking your true power back. And this ace of wands is gonna turn into an ace of pentacles really fast. Okay, judgment reverse in your emotions, thank you. You got the page of swords and the queen of swords. I have to say, to me, the queen of swords is scarier than this old king. This old king is kind of, doesn't say much. Their presence, they, a king of swords is, is rather silent. It's, it's their, but a king of swords is set in stone. They don't want to change. If you look at a traditional king of swords, on the tarot deck, they're butterflies. Their transformation happened a long ass time ago. It's, it's the butterflies are, are literally in cement behind them if you really look at the cards. And that means this person doesn't wanna change. They're comfortable with who they are. But a queen of swords, page of swords and a queen of swords, this is somebody you better get out of her way because when she holds her hand up like that, she's like, I dare you, you bitches. I dare you say that to me again. Queen of Swords, I wouldn't mess with. And this is what's been lacking, I feel like, in somebody's life that I'm reading for. Your Queen of Swords, every successful person has a Queen of Swords that is the first one out. Your Queen of Swords is your boundaries. Your Queen of Swords is you finally speaking up for yourself. Your Queen of Swords is you focused on your star. Your Queen of Swords is not taking bullshit. The bullshittery in your life, watch it dissipate. Okay, Page of Cups reversed and the Devil reversed and the outcome for Taurus. Page of Cups reversed and the Devil reversed here. Page of Cups reversed and the Devil reversed. I feel like the chains are finally falling away. And what has held you back can't hold you back. Nothing's going to hold you back, Starship. Okay, what is this? Page of Cups reverse, Devil reverse. Nine of Pentacles reverse. Nine of Pentacles reverses the minor, minor arcana card of the Empress. I, we have a Queen of Swords reverse. We have a Queen of Cups upright here, by the way. I seen the Queen of, I'm sorry, the Queen of Wands is reverse. So when I see a Nine of Pentacles reverse and I'm thinking of the Empress, it's saying it's time to focus on you. But which Queen are we talking about? Our Queen of Swords is upright. So she's starting to get shit back on track. She's making it safe for you to love something about yourself, to love life again, to be okay being happy. But your queen of wands reverses, re, your queen of wands is reversed and that is how you see yourself. That is where we need to get our attention. So when the nine of pentacles comes reverse and it's a draining energy from this devil energy, and I feel like it's this king of swords behind closed doors, we have to wonder what queen is it that needs the attention? It's your self confidence because this person whittled it away. That is where you're putting your attention now. And I feel like this three of cups over here, 
uh, with the Page of Swords, I feel like you have people that coming in or in that you know of, uh, depending on your timeline, that are going to help your Queen of Wands get upright again. What is the Nine of Pentacles reverse, Virgo energy? I feel like this they're trying to one last to stop it, but nothing can stop this chariot. That is some David Copperfield bullshit right there. You're on your way, Taurus. You're on your way. Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups reverse. I feel like somebody is not going to give up on a cup that you threw away. Death reverse, four of wands reverse, but I don't think what they want is taken into consideration these days. What you want is the only thing you're focused on. All right, my dear, good luck. But you don't need luck when you have yourself and you know who you are and you know what you deserve. Then you better get out of Taurus's way. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you on Tuesday. I'm sorry if this view is really weird. I'm just trying different things out. I might go back to that. I might change it differently again. But at least you're able to zoom in. I know that because I watched YouTube myself. You're able to zoom in on things. Um, but I want you to have the ability to zoom in. So, all right, guys. I love you. I really do, Taurus. Thank you for all your likes and subscribes and your comments. And I, I just, I really, you're the best part of YouTube for me. You and uh, a few other signs. It's it's just, and I, I actually, I don't want to say it like that. All the signs have, uh, you know, the kindness factor. And you guys make it worth doing, you know? You really do. So I love you guys and have a great rest of your weekend and a good start to your week. Take care.